All right, this week, uh, Porsche Cup is at Road Atlanta. We did a guide for that last season, and uh, the car has not changed much since then, so we'll put a link to that up here if you came to the channel looking for that. Um, but I thought I would take this week to go through some software that, uh, if you're new to iRacing, you might be interested in. And I don't really have a good way of uh, categorizing things, so I'm just going to kind of go off uh, by order that I made up in my head. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is trading paints. All right, what is trading paints, you might ask? It is, put simply, a program that runs in the background that will download custom paint files for everybody who is in your current race. Um, it's just uh, tradingpaints.com. We'll have a link to it down in the description below. Um, when you make your account, you'll need your um, customer ID number from iRacing, which you can, if you go to your profile uh, in the UI here, you can find your uh, customer ID number right there. You'll need that when you, uh, you make it, your account. And basically, oh, go away. I need to click behind you. Once you get signed in, once you've made your account and you get signed in, you'll want to download the installer. You get that installed and running. It'll be running in the background as a tray icon here. Uh, these are the settings that I use. I like to have it start when the system starts up, uh, automatically refresh paints, clean up the uh, files when you exit iRacing. That way it doesn't end up storing a bunch of data that you don't need. Uh, clean up the driver's existing paint files before fetching the new paints and uh, update my own paints. Uh, that is how I like to have it. I close it and it'll still stay running in the system tray. And then you can uh, choose which vehicle you want to find a paint for. Uh, let's say we're looking for the Audi R18, which the legacy car, we wanted to say Audi R8. Um, and then we can choose, like, let's say we like this martini livery here. You can click on it. And we can we can favorite this paint if it's uh, one that we really like and we want to change our paints every so often. Uh, click erase this paint and it'll apply it to our car. And then we will uh, we'll be running that and anybody else running trading paints will see us running this paint. Um, we can also upload paints on trading paints. Um, that way you, you can, uh, I don't have any uh, currently on my computer to show you, but uh, you can run uh, custom liveries that you make and you can set them on there just so you're the only one running them. Uh, and But other people will still be able to see them. That's basically uh, the big overview. There are, uh, they do have a paint making software. I've never used it. I use uh, Photoshop when I'm making a paint. Maybe someday I'll make a video on how to make a paint. I'm not the best at it, but I can, I can, I can do it enough to, uh, to get done what I want to get done. But uh, there's a bunch more uh, in here. When like when we when we select our car. Uh, let's see here, my paints, uh, what I'm racing will show uh, the different paints that you're running. I think I'm running like a Purina. Yeah, a Purina one on this uh, Audi or sorry, uh, Aston Martin. Um, and then I've got like paints that I've commissioned. Like this one here is an Audi one that I commissioned and I uploaded it myself so that I can uh, I can run it and other people will see it. Uh, I've got ones that I've made. I don't know where one of those is real quick. Uh, Ford Fiesta, WRC. I made this uh, really quickly. Kind of similar to that other one that I that I had made. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's Trading Paints and it's one of the first things I think a lot of people end up downloading when they start doing iRacing. So uh, if you're interested in being able to see all the the cool custom paints that other people are running and run neat ones yourself. That's uh, that's how you do it. So let's get on to the next thing. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is Crew Chief, which is a supplementary uh, spotter uh, that uh, can work in tandem or in replacement of the built-in iRacing Crew Chief. The iRacing uh, Crew Chief uh, stuff has 
uh, expanded uh, since I started uh, doing iRacing, but uh, I still use Crew Chief. Um, I do like being able to use the voice commands, which we'll talk about here in a second. All right, so I've got Crew Chief open here. Um, again, I'll leave a download link. I'll leave a link for the download down below, and uh, we'll uh, start Crew Chief up. First thing is you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to select iRacing from the list of uh, supported games that we have here. So it doesn't work just for Crew Chief. You can use it for other games too. But so uh, we're gonna use it for iRacing. We're gonna start Crew Chief. Radio check. Um, I don't like the background noise, so I've got that turned all the way down, and I've got his messages turned all the way up. You can uh, set a separate spotter voice from the crew chief voice, and if you are ambitious enough, uh, you can record and and make a different voice pack. Um, I looked into it, and the number of sound clips you'd need to make is quite extensive, and I can't find a good list of all the ones you would need to record and na file name anywhere. If anybody has a good guide for that, leave it in the comments below. I, I'm still kind of interested in doing that. Uh, but anyway... Uh, we have, like I said, we've got him started. Uh, we can't really get to too much else uh, while we have him started, so we're gonna hit stop. But you need that. You need to have hit start to have him work. Um, the main things I use him for are the vo like the vo I well one I like hearing him. He he gives me some sass, uh, and I kind of like that. Um, I'm gonna properties here. And there are a ton of different things he can do. I, I also have him calculate my fuel. Uh, for restarts. So to find those settings, there's thankfully a search function in here. So we can just search fuel uh, in here and I've got it set to add um, enough fuel for the end of the race plus 0.8, 80% of a la uh, extra lap uh, worth of fuel. So on the Nurburgring, he's not filling me up a full extra lap, but still quite a bit extra. I don't know. I, I uh, Nurburgring, I, I would maybe notch it down a little bit, but I do like having that extra leeway uh, on shorter races. Um, keep in mind, if you have another program that's doing fuel calculations for you, you, you only want one program doing that at a time. They can fight with each other if you don't. Uh, so just use only one that's going to be doing fuel for you. Um, there's also, you can make, uh, make Jim... Uh, swear at yeah, use sweary messages. I've got that turned off because I stream and I don't want uh, don't want Jim cussing up a storm on a stream. But those are pretty funny. I have I have done that uh, when uh, when he's not uh, not there. But uh, there's an extensive uh, number of voice commands you can do. The ones I use the most are for when I'm doing oval racing. I will use um, the pit stop clear tires if I'm wanting to stop and just do damage or fuel or something like that if I don't if I don't want to take tires uh, but there is an extensive list here of all the uh, voice commands uh, you can give like what's uh, what was so-and-so's last uh, last lap time what was so-and-so's best lap time uh, what's my gap you know all this uh, all this kind of stuff is uh, available as a uh, voice command which is super handy to have and he'll just uh tell you uh what's going on there so very very nice to have all right the next thing you might be interested in is some telemetry tracking software to help you analyze what you're doing on the track and and hopefully get a little bit better i did make a video talking about how i use it to practice i'll have a link uh pop up up here and be down in the show notes along with links to all the stuff i'm going to talk about the ones I am prim primarily familiar with are Garage 61 VRS, and uh, there's a bunch of other ones. Um, the, those are the two that I know the most, so those are the ones I'm going to talk about here real quick. Like I said, um, I like Garage 61 the best, um, or I suppose that's the one that I, I use the most. I like the uh, community kind of driven aspect of it where we have our different teams and uh, we can have little messages pop up in our Discord with the channel muted. Um, but I've got it linked up so that it notifies me when anybody beats my my any record that I might currently hold um, I am not high up on our little team here as far as the number of records that we hold uh, 71 But that's just different car and track combos. Um, I also subscribe to VRS uh, VRS is nice. They've got uh, people that they hire to do their best times and uh, 
you know they'll they'll set some fast times uh there are people who set fast times in garage 61 uh that you can compare yourself to for free but uh vrs also has uh setups that you can download and uh videos that you can watch um if if that's what you're looking for. Um, I'm not sure what's all included with their free subscription. I'm pretty sure the, the data packs for the Mazda rookies are in there. I'm not sure what else is. Uh, since I subscribe to it, I don't know offhand what's uh, what's included in the free stuff and what's not. Um, I'll give an honorable mention to Moo here. And like I said, these are just the ones that I use. I don't know that they're the best. Um, but Moo will export your iRacing telemetry uh, files into uh, stuff that can be interpreted by the MoTeC uh, telemetry analysis software, which is what you use for real race cars. So if you're interested in uh, learning how to use that stuff, this is a cool and fun way to learn that, I think. Um, it's way over my head. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not, uh, not, not, not too into uh, looking to uh, figure that stuff out currently. Uh, but it is uh, pretty fascinating that you can do that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, there you go. Another thing you might be wondering about uh, if, you, if you're if you new to iRacing and you're watching these streams, like how do all these people have all these this extra HUD stuff going on that, that I don't have? Um, if you're going for more of an immersive type thing, you probably don't want this stuff um, on your screen. But if you're, if you're running a stream, you can have it on the stream, but not on your screen or do both. Anyway. Uh, there are a ton of different uh, different iRacing uh, overlay options available. Um, I use Race Labs and Caps, so those are the ones I'm primarily going to talk about here. I'll mention a couple others that you might be interested in as well, um, and there are more beyond that. If you just search for uh, iRacing overlay software, you'll see some other options that are out there. Uh, I can't possibly list them all, but uh, here we go. So like I said, I primarily I so like I said, I primarily use race labs and caps. I like the way race labs looks. Um and I got it shortly after I started uh iRacing, so that's kind of what I've stuck with. Um they have this layout feature. If you enter it here, um it allows you to set up a, a layout of default um overlays that will pop up when you start iRacing. Um, I've got a standings one here that I've set up the way that I like with um, people's I rating, their safety rating, um, how many spots they've gone up or down, the strength of field. Um, I've got my relative in the bottom right. I've got this um, head to head, which shows the person ahead of and behind me, and the gap, and uh, how we're doing sector by sector. And then my telemetry, um, which shows the data over time from the telemetry, which I really find handy uh, myself sometimes to see, like, am I trail breaking the way that I want to be and that kind of stuff. Occasionally, I will open up individual overlays for things like uh, the track map. I find really helpful on ovals. Um, so that I can see if we're if we're under caution and I'm sitting in the pits, um, I can see where the pace car is. That way I can get out uh, in time. And then um, I will also have the fuel calculator. Um, this I'll have up in the uh, my right hand monitor in the top left. And I don't use I don't really reference it that often. Um, again, I some thing I end up using mostly in in ovals just to make sure I've got enough gas to finish the race. I also use caps here, and this one um, I use I really like it's uh, this car left right indicator, um, which um, I don't have a good way to have it show up on the screen right now. But I'll um, cut to <laughs> a video from a race where. Uh, where it was uh, going up. Okay. Car left. Still there. Clear left. Car left. Clear left. Um, I find that handy. I think uh, Race Labs has something similar, but they didn't when I started using this. But the main thing I use uh, caps for is the Twitch chat. I don't like how. Uh, Race Labs handles the Twitch chat, so I just have uh, have caps set up to do that, and I keep it in the the top right corner there. Um, 
driving away, you've got the Twitch chat there. Um, is something that you learn when you can read and when you can't. Um, and it is a, 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 a thing to learn how to do. There are also some other ones. Um, there's this one that I find uh, interesting, but from what I've heard, it's harder to set up this uh, uh, SDK overlays. And uh, it seems like it's a lot more customizable. But uh, like I said, I have not gone in to learn how to use it. Um, but it is uh, interesting to me. And there's also SimHub, which is more... Like you can have it display on your screen, but I think it is uh, it's more designed to uh, be on a, da a physical dash that you have in front of you, um, which I've thought about getting um, at some point, but uh, haven't bit the bullet there yet. But those are some those are some of the options that you have for overlays. Like I said, there's a bunch more. Um, if people are interested, we can make a video more detailed about how everything you can do with with that kind of stuff. But uh, but yeah, there's. Some options for you. Final thing I'd like to talk about is the iRacing Reports Discord bot, which is a wild uh, Discord bot that will show you all kinds of stats and it makes them up in pretty graphs and everything. Uh, let's hop over and we'll we'll show you some of the stuff it can do. So you can you can have this Discord bot uh, be on your Discord or you can just join their Discord. Um, this is the website. We'll have it linked down below. And uh, there's all sorts of different commands. Uh, that you can put in and it will give you like I said all sorts of different uh, different kind of uh, charts and stuff um, like I said you can have it on your own discord or you can just go to the bot playground in their discord and it will show you all kinds of stuff I have on the right hand side here already I did uh, fastest laps for uh, last week in the uh, Porsche Cup with at Imola um, these are the fastest laps that were run, the top 10 fastest laps. And then also, since we clicked through on it, um, we've got the uh, fastest laps on the left axis. And on the uh, X axis, we've got people's I ratings. So uh, you've got a distribution here. And it kind of shows you, um, you know, the 10K people are way down here. 3K, kind of, kind of in this area it's quite a widespread <laughs> but uh like i said it's it's cool to kind of look at that uh and then we can also pull up uh all kinds of stuff i like going in here and punching in driver my name you can also do for different seasons and whatnot but it will process eventually and we've got uh, some basic stats on uh, how our season has gone here. We've gained uh, 600 uh, most I rating, a bunch of safety rating at uh, the Nürburgring Endurance Challenge uh, kind of messes with the stats a little bit. I've started 59 times. Um, we can go click through here and it will give us some more charts. Um, you know, what we've raced in road. Uh, we'd have to put in some more commands uh, to see our oval stuff. Um, in this but uh our average championship points our i rating change you know corners per incident which is helpful if you're if you're looking at your your safety rating and what whatnot um we can look at uh participation in certain series and this is this is so cool how it like pops up it didn't used to do this with uh with the uh auto like filling the stuff so let's say we want camel gt so this will show us the participation um in the camel gt so we know like there's you know different time slots that we know that there's going to be a race for these low participation series that's another really useful command that, that has but there's a ton of different commands on it um and it's really fun to play with so if you want to see some stats about iRacing that is certainly a place to check it out so yeah if you're new to iRacing and uh you've not seen any of that stuff before i hope something at least something in there has been helpful for you um if you want like a deeper dive into any of that stuff like i said um 
we've done one about uh, using the telemetry data and stuff. Uh, if there's anything else that we'd like a deeper dive in, leave a comment below and we can kind of try and figure out a way to talk about it on one of these weeks where we've got a, a repeat track or something like that. But uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, I understand. If you think I earned it, uh, hit the subscribe button. It does help out. If you want to watch along live when I do some races, head on over to twitch.tv slash the Piltdown Man. We'll see you next time. Bye.